It's David here from Site3D and I'm going to quickly show you how you can do amorphous or freeform channels and secondary channels in Site3D. So we have a, a couple of roads here with a junction and a junction to existing. We also have a layout on here which if I just turn on the actual line colouring we can see that a bit clearer. Um, this is where we want to widen out the primary channel to on this side and do the junction flaring and also over here we want to put on some secondary channels where these would um, fall back towards the actual main channel line level wise. Um, to do this we can use the channel item so go to the channel items select the channel we want to work on and use the amorphous hit new amorphous and then right click select line. Now we can choose the polylines on the drawing to help us so if I select this one, it's going to go all the way along. I can then hit apply and it'll take it straight away. And you can see it's done the uh, junction flares, it's done the parking base along the side here and this one over here. It's also updated the junction, which is why we've got these uh, design alerts come up here just to let us know that the actual leveling has changed slightly because it's moved the start of the road. We can still um, modify the channels if we, and the back of footways if we wanted to. We can edit these things. Um, in this case here, I'm just changing the footway so that we can have that go all the way across. That'll bring it all the way through. Uh, we can even edit the actual channel itself. So we can go into here, go into our Morphus, and I believe there's a slight deviation here. We can actually put in a curve. Pull that one right out, hit apply, and it'll take it. Smooth that out if you need to. Um, we can also just do individual sections. We don't have to do a um, freeform channel all the way along, you can choose multiple. So in this case here, we've got a, uh, just a short little section that we want to do. So channel tools, edit the channel, hit new amorphous, right click and hit select line and just pick this little bit here Then hit apply and it'll take that for us right there. And it's also then applied the junction to those as well. With the secondary channels, it's very similar. So what we're gonna do is just go to the secondary channel tools, hit new and then select the channel side that we want to add it to, new amorphous, New Amorphous and right click, select line and just choose the polyline that we want it to go with. Hit apply and then this is where we can choose the actual grade. So if we want it to fall to away from the channel, um, we can leave it as is. If we want it to fall towards the channel, put it as minus 40, hit OK and it then applies it. And you can do the same on this one here. Just keep adding them. So select this side, New Amorphous, right click, select line, pick this side here, hit apply, change the grade to whatever you need it to be, click OK, and we've got it. Thanks for watching.